Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the integer. n as the input and in the first line the program must print the first n multiples in that is n multiples of n in ascending order and then in the second line we have to print the next n multiples of n in descending order and then in the next line so in the third line we have to print the next n multiples of n in ascending order and then in the fourth line, we have to print the next n multiples of n in descending order. And similarly, the program must print the other multiples until reaches n star n so first we are going to accept the integer n and in the first line we will print the first n multiples of n in ascending order and in the second line we will print the next n multiples of n in descending order and in third line we will print the next n multiples of n in ascending order and in the fourth line we will print the n multiples of n in descending order and we we'll do it until it reaches n start n so in our first this case n is equal to 5 so in the first line we have first n multiples of n in ascending order so the first n one n first five multiples of 5 are 5 10 15 20 and 25 so after this in the second line we'll print the next five multiples of 5 in descending order that is 30, 35, 40, 45 and then 50. So here it is in descending order. And after this the next multiples of 5 in ascending order. So it is 55, 60, 65, 70, 70 and 75. Now after this again the next multiples of 5 in descending order so eighty five then ninety and ninety five and then hundred so after this again next multiples of five in ascending order one twenty and then one twenty five so here it reaches n star n so we'll stop here and this will be our output so now since it has reached n star n we'll stop it and let us take our another test case where n is equal to 3 so first n multiples of n in ascending order so 3 6 9 and then next 3 multiples in descending order so we get 18 15 and 12 then next 3 multiples in ascending order so 21 24 and 27 so here we have got n star n so we'll stop here and this will be our output
Now let us implement our program. First, we'll get our integer n, and then we'll have a variable called start value equal to one, which will determine the starting value of the integer n. So, for example, if we have n is equal to three means, so we'll consider for the first of start val we have one two three, so this one two three will be multiplied by n, that is one into three, two into three, and three into three, and after that the start val will be incremented with the n, that is. Three, so one plus three is four. So we have four, five, six for the next row, and this four, five, six will also be multiplied with the n. So for the second line, it should be in descending order, and for the next row, again we are incrementing the start val by n, so it becomes seven, eight, nine. And also, it will be multiplied with n, and we'll get our correct output. And at last, we'll specify the order. So for row in range one comma n plus one, we have a num list where num into n for Num in range start val comma start val plus n. So the start val is one means one two three will be multiplied with n. And if the row mod two is equal to equal to one means, then we are going to print it. A strict num list, and in the else part, if the if the row mod two is equal to equal to zero, means then we are going to reverse it. That is, in we are going to print it in ascending order, and also the start val will be incremented with n. Now let us run our program. We'll pass our first test case. So yes, we have got the correct output. So first line in ascending order, second line in descending order, then third line in ascending order, fourth line in descending order, and fifth line in ascending order. So we'll pass our another test case. So here also we have got the correct output: ascending order, descending order, and ascending order. 